Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So this channel, Everyday Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts in real data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question on straight data scratch regarding acceptance rate by date, both using Python as well as MySQL, and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is medium, and this question has been asked in Meta and Facebook interviews, and it is a great question to solve if you are preparing for data engineer, data scientist, BI analyst, or data analyst roles. Okay, let's jump right in. The question reads. What is the overall friend acceptance rate by date? Your output should have the rate of acceptances by the date the request was sent, ordered by the earliest date to the latest. Assume that each friend request starts by a user sending, right? So user ID sender, a friend request to another user, the receiver's user ID that's logged in the table with action sent. If the request is accepted, the table logs the action is accepted. If the request is not accepted, no record of action accepted is logged. So basically we are given a table or a data frame called FV friends requests and our expected output is a pandas data frame with two different columns, right? So date the request was sent and the acceptance rate, right? And let's, uh, you know, go through the data frame FB friend request. So if we preview this, so user ID, sender, receiver, date, action, right? So if we look at, right, so here, uh, 4th of, January 2020, right? So 4th of January 2020. So there is one cent, two cent, right? And then uh, three cent and fourth cent, right? And out of these, how many of them have been accepted? So if you look at it, right? So these, this combination of user ID and sender, uh, user ID sender and user ID receiver were sent on 4th of January and accepted on six. So out of four, four one is accepted, two is accepted, right? Um, and then this one is also, so th three is accepted, but this one was sent. And since the question says that if it is not going to be accepted, there is go not going to be any entry, right? So for this, there is no entry for acceptance for this combination. So three out of four on 4th of January, 2020 has been accepted. So that is why 75%, right? That is what we have similarly for this one. So basically what we can do is we can, you know, divide these two device, this table or data frame every friend request into two part one where we have information about the sent action and another by accepted action. And then we can merge them so that we have all this information. So, okay, for this user ID sender and user ID receiver, it was sent on 4th of January and you can have the same in the same row when it was accepted, right? Or whether or not it was accepted or not. And once we have them, then, then we can, you know, simply count and divide by the total number of uh, you know, the uh, actions that were sent, right? So basically let's, let's do this, right? So this uh, is the data frame every friend request, right? So let's make one data frame. Uh, let's call it, um, you know, let's call it data frame sent, right? So sent is equal to every friends request and we are using Boolean indexing, right? So basically, uh, array of true and false values when passed through the data frame, it will only keep those rows where the values were true, right? So every friend requests, so every friend request, right? For the column action is equal to equal to is equal to equal to send, right? Uh, you know, let me just run this. Let's see what we are having. So if you look at it, right? So you have all the rows where uh, action was sent, right? Similarly, we can do this for accept, right? So accepted is equal to, again, you can, you know, don't need to write everything. You just copy it here, paste it here, right? And here the action should be equal to accepted, right? Accepted. And now once you have that, then what we can do is we can merge this information, right? So we can say, okay, new data frame is equal to pandas dot merge, right? Pandas dot merge. We are merging the sent data frame with the accepted data frame. You know how we are merging left join, right? Because for sent, we have information, but for accepted, we may or may not have an entry, right? Based on the question, it was described to us earlier, right? Here, uh, it may or may not have an row. So, uh, we are doing a left join, right? So sent on accepted. So left on which columns, obviously user ID 
and sender id and this is the same uh, column name is it's going to be the same column name in both sent and accepted so you don't need to write left on and right on we can just provide the list right so on is equal to the list is user id sender and then the user id receiver right okay uh okay let me you know let me just go ahead and run this let's see what we are having and until now okay so if you look at it right so user id sender receiver uh for this send uh sent on this date and then uh you know this is the accepted date and this is the accent accepted so we know that on 4th of january 2020 there were four sent right so four sent so one two uh three and four four sent and out of them three were accepted right so accepted accepted uh and then ac accepted and there is nothing no entry right so basically this is going to be null right so now we have this information ready now what we need to do is we need to group by the date x so date x is basically belonging to the sent one right and date y belongs to the accepted data frame right so that is why it has already so what python does is if the name of the column is same in both of them right uh so it will provide for the left one uh, left uh, data frame as x axis add this at the end of the name of the column and for the right table or the right data frame it will add uh, underscore y to that right so we we know this now what we need to do is we need to in the output if you look at it right so date x so basically the date the uh, request was sent so what we can do is we can group by the date x right and then count the values right so basically because why we are doing this because we are trying to say okay what is the number of action the number of requests that were sent and accepted right so if i go ahead and do this right so new dot group by right group by which which column date x right and then you count this right so count them for each date x like count the values and the column that you group by it will become the index so obviously you also need that right in the output you need that date right so that is why you need to reset index right let me go ahead and run this let's see what we are having right okay so if you look at it right so 4th of january 2020 and 6th of january 2020 so now what we are having is there were four x and x so x and x and belonging to x is x is basically sent one right this data frame so x and is four sent and three of them were accepted similarly for the 6th of january three were sent and two were accepted right so you you get the point right so now all we need to do is we need to divide this column by this column right and that is going to give you the acceptance rate right so what we can do is uh we can uh, you know store this in a new data frame so new data frame uh new df is equal to this one right and then what we can do is we can make a column called new df called acceptance right so acceptance rate acceptance rate which is basically going to be new df column action y this is basically the acceptance uh, divided by new df column action x right this is basically the sent one right so now if i uh, you know see okay what do we have for new df run this okay so if we look at the acceptance rates so we have the acceptance rates and we only need the dates right so date x and so right so we only need the date x and acceptance rate so basically this is the date the request was sent and this is the acceptance rate so we can ju just provide the list of columns that we require require right so date x and acceptance rate okay let me run this let's see what we are having so now uh, you right, know now our output is exactly same as expected output right let me go ahead and submit it to so it passes all the test cases so yeah everything is green and this is how we do it again now let's look at how the corresponding solution looks like in mysql
okay so if you look at it same question right uh, and we have a table every friend request expected output is same as well right dates and percentage acceptance uh, and then every friend request table if we preview this we have the same information as well right so what we can do is here this is more straightforward than, than doing it in python so what we can do is from this table called every friend request we can directly group by the user id sender and user id receiver and then use the case when statement that whenever your action is equal to send you count it as one else zero and you know assign those values and then calculate the sum to calculate okay how many of their of them were sent on a particular date and how many of them were accepted right so from this table called every friend request if i you know if i group by the user id sender right user id sender and then by user id receiver right user id receiver uh, and then uh, what i do is i return the user id sender right user id sender and user id receiver right so user id receiver and then what we i need to do is so once i group by right so just think of it like how it is going to work so if I, you know, uh, so this one was sent on 4th of January 2020 and was accepted. So this combination of user ID sender and user, user ID receiver. So once I'm doing this group, right? So these two rows, they become one group, right? So obviously these become one group and you in that group, you have two dates and two actions, right? So we are required to have on the date the request was sent, you need to have that date right so out of this obviously the you know the date that is going to be the sent date has to be less than you know has to be less than or equal to the date it was accepted right so mathematically that is how it was because once you send it then only you can accept it right so if you do minimum or let's say the it was you know sent and accepted on sa same date so if you do the minimum it is going to take okay so out of 4th of january 2020 and 4th of january 2020 uh it is 4th of january 2020 the minimum part right but uh, in this case 4th of january and 6th of january the minimum is this one and minimum is basically what the date the request was sent so if i do from this for each of this group if i do minimum of date right minimum of date and let's alias this as whatever is required in the output so as date so basically this is going to this this is what this is the date the request was sent right so now you have also got the date part now we need to count how many of these on each of these dates were sent and how many of them were accepted right for this for different combinations of user id and user user id sender and user id receiver so if I do case when action is equal to sent, then you assign the value one, else you assign the value zero. And since you started a case when statement, you need to write end, right? So basically what is this going to do? So, okay, for this group, right? So they, this combination, these two combination, the, the group has two actions, right? Sent and accepted. So whenever it is sent, it is assigning one and else it is assigning zero. And then if we sum it up, so basically for this group, one was sent, and that is going to be the sent count, right? Similarly, uh, once you write the case when statements for accepted part, it is going to get the accepted count. So if I write sum, right, sum of this as, uh, let's say, sent, right, sent count, and similarly, right, same exact same stuff is like if I do this for acceptance. Right, so if I, you know, send is accepted uh, and then I write accepted, right? So accepted count. Let me go ahead and run this, right? So it will be more clear. So now what we have is for each of these groups, right? So each of these groups, it was sent and accepted. So basically one means it was sent and it was accepted. Sent and accepted. This was sent but was not accepted was sent accepted was sent accepted right so if you now look at it right so we remember from our discussions previously that on 4th of january out of four sent three were accepted so this is one accept sent and accepted sent and accepted sent and accepted but sent and not accepted right so three out of four is accepted so you see how this is working 
So now once you have this, then what we can do is we can save this entire thing, right? In a common table expression. So we can write with CTE as, and then this entire thing goes into parentheses, right? And then all we need to do is from this common table expression, right? Group by, right? Group by the date. And then what you need to do is return the date and then sum of right sum of acceptance so sum of accepted count and you divide it by sum of sent count because for each date we need that right and let's alias this as whatever is required in the output so percentage acceptance right percentage underscore acceptance right uh, once we have this then we can also order by the date right so order by the date let me go ahead and run this let's see what we are having okay so now date and percentage acceptance let me go ahead and submit it so it passes all the test cases so this is solved and everything is green and this is how we do it again not a very difficult question right it might seem uh, you know a bit lengthy but all we had to do was you know for each of the combinations of user id sender and receiver we try to find out okay the date the re request was sent and then the total number of sent as well as the accepted part and then we just simply divided okay number of accepted on a particular date so a particular date which was sent date right and divide by the total number of uh, you know requests that were sent on that date so yeah, this is how we do it. Let me know if there is a better way or more efficient way you can think of to solve this question. Let the solution be in the comment section below and I will see you guys in the next video.